Welcome to my lecture online. Here's our next example. It looks a lot like our previous example, but the answer will end up in a fraction. So let's see what this looks like. Again, there are rational expressions that make up this equation, so we're going to have to find the lowest common denominator. We quickly check and look at the largest of the denominators and notice that the two smaller ones fit evenly into the larger one, so the larger one will be the LCD, which means we're going to multiply both the left side and the right side of the equation by the lowest common denominator. On the left side, we're going to multiply the 16 by the first term and by the second term. Here, we only have to multiply it times one of the terms. When we do, notice that 4 goes into 16 four times, so we end up with 4 times minus 5x. Here, 8 goes into 16 twice, so we end up with plus 2 times x equals here, 16 divided by 16, they cancel, and we're left with a negative 3 on the right side. Now we get rid of the parentheses, so we end up with minus 20x plus 2x equals negative 3. And notice that all the x's are already on one side, the number's on the other side. We don't have a quadratic equation, so we don't have to move everything over to one side. Now we combine like terms, get minus 18x equals minus 3. And then we divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient in front of the x. On the left side, we end up with x equal. On the right side, 3 divided by 18 becomes 1 over 6. The negatives cancel out. And there's our answer. Now, of course, we should check to see if this is indeed correct. So we're going to plug that back in our original equation and see what we get. Minus 5 times x, which is 1 over 6 divided by 4 plus 1 over 6 divided by 8 is equal to negative 3 over 16. All right, what should we do now to work that out? Well, what we could do is we could do the following. We can move the 6 to the denominator and write as minus 5 over 6 times 4, which is 24, plus 1 over 48 is equal to minus 3 over 16. Now notice the lowest common denominator in this case will be 48. 24 goes into 48 twice and 16 goes into 48 three times. So now we're going to multiply both sides by the lowest common denominator 48. Again, we're doing this to check. We don't have to, but hey, if this was a test and want to make sure it was correct, we definitely would want to do this if we had the time. So multiply both sides by 48. Again, notice that the 48 is multiplied with the first term and the second term, where 48 is only multiplied once here. So 48, 24 goes into 48 twice, so we end up with 2 times negative 5. Of course, let me put a question mark on there because that's what we're doing. We're checking. We're not sure at this point. And here, 48 goes into 48 once, so that's plus 1 times 1 equals 16 goes into 48 three times, so it's 3 times the negative 3. Multiplying through, we get negative 10 plus 1 equals negative 9, or negative 9 equals negative 9. And so check, yes indeed, we verified that our answer was indeed correct, and that is how it's done.